Pythagoras has been credited for many discoveries in mathematics, philosophy, astronomy, and music theory without documenting a single one of them. So what do we know about Pythagoras? He was born in 570 BC on the Greek Isle of Samos. He was taught by Thales, who brought mathematics back to the Greeks. When he grew older, he moved to Egypt for over 20 years, where he learned about mathematics, religion, and the culture of the Egyptians. And so he took all of those things and he made a school that he named after himself called Pythagoras' School. There, he taught mathematics, music theory, religion, astronomy, and philosophy to his students, which he referred to and a group of them became known as the Pythagoreans. One of his contributions was to music theory. And the story goes that Pythagoras was walking down the road one day when he passed by a blacksmith and noticed that the sound of a hammer against the anvil was an octave different based on the weights. Although this is not true, people say that Pythagoras discovered that the intervals between harmonious musical notes always have whole number ratios. In other words, playing half a length of guitar string gives the same note as the open string, but an octave higher. Another area that he would contributed to was mathematics in what is known as the Pythagorean theorem, which says that, a, that c squared equals a squared plus b squared, or as most people remember it as a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So let's take a quick look at that. Uh, so if we have the two shorter sides of a right triangle, they're called legs, and we square one of them and we add it to the square of the other, it is equal to the hypotenuse, which is the longest side and always across from our right angle. So this says that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Another contribution actually attributed to his followers, the Pythagoreans, was the discovery of irrational numbers. Uh, the funny thing about this is that they actually uh, attempted to cover it up because it would disprove one of their beliefs that there was the existence of only whole numbers. Another area, and actually probably the one that, he's, that he is most famous for, is his spiritual contributions. Uh, he believed in reincarnation and taught this at his school. Um, and so with this reincarnation, he felt that and, tr and taught that all animals are of the same family. So this idea of this circular motion of um, when you die, you become another animal and you're all part of the same family. Um, similar to this and kind of into numerology, uh, which is the, the study of numbers and how it relates is that all relationships can be reduced to numbers. Along with uh, this idea of numerology and numbers is the Tetractus. And Pythagoras found this to be very sacred. And it is 10 dots that make up um, a large triangle and then make up smaller triangles. And so when you add up the one, the two, the three, and the four, it is 10. And so 10 to Pythagoras was very sacred and he taught this uh, to his followers, um, the Pythagoreans. Another thing that he taught was a way of life. Uh, he um, passed along religious rituals, dietary restrictions, living restrictions, vows of silence. Um, supposedly after becoming a Pythagorean, you would have to take five years of si uh, vow of silence for five years. So why all the controversy around Pythagoras? Well, one of the issues is that he never wrote anything down and there was no real record or um, descriptive record of him for over 800 years. He was mentioned earlier than 800 years, but it was Plato and Aristotle um, that purely mentioned his followers and his teachings on uh, the way of life and no, no reference to his mathematical or astronomical uh, contributions. There was one guy who disagreed with these claims and he said,
Pythagoras was the one to fill the gaps within history, to carry on and expand the ideas of his predecessors in order to prepare the way for future mathematicians. So whether or not Pythagoras really did discover octaves or prove mathematical theories, advance astronomical thinking, or implement a strict lifestyle, the contributions to each field have been long lasting and continue to affect our current culture. Although we may never know the real truth about him, the contributions attributed to Pythagoras will live on in our schools, our textbooks, and our history for generations to come.